President Trump and his allies make it seem like a war with Iran would be tactical and quick. Do you have an exit strategy for Iran if war does break out? Uh, you're not going to need an exit strategy. I don't need exit strategies. So here's what Iran needs to get ready for. Severe pain. Could we win a war with Iran? Yes. That didn't take you a second. Two strikes, the first strike and the last strike. But it's not that simple. Three former U.S. military officials told us why. I wouldn't want to gamble on just a limited strike and that would do it if I was the President of the United States. It would not be one strike and then the second strike. No, it wouldn't happen that way. You'd have to expect a major response from Iran. Well, the United States does over overmatch Iran completely militarily, but uh, would it be easy or uncomplicated? Uh, we completely overmatched Saddam Hussein, and we lost almost 4,000 men and women dead in that war. The Iranian military is strong, it's powerful, it's like the eighth largest army in the world, um, and it must be taken seriously. Iran, with the vastness of its land, 80 million people, homogeneous population. I know the Zagros Mountains in Iran. I know that terrain. It simply isn't a rock. It's not a desert where you go bomb one tank after another. It would be an incredible feat to defeat anyone inside Iran. Iran's military strengths are, first, its diversification of its uh, weapons, of its people. They have Shia militias uh, all over the Middle East, uh, Hezbollah is a very significant force. They have a regular army. They are decentralized. They have a regular navy. It would drag other countries into it. Uh, Iraq is a, a Shia-dominated uh, country. You've got a, a war in Syria, in Yemen, in Libya. So it would be very messy. We're looking at a, a war that would spread fairly quickly. We've got elements in Iraq that will side with Iran, elements in Syria that will side with Iran. We've got elements in Saudi Arabia that have just been waiting for the royals to get hard pressed by something. If there was to be sort of a conventional conflict with Iran, I don't see anybody coming out of this winning. I mean, we will lose troops, we will lose bases, we will lose ships, we will lose aircraft. And it won't just be the United States. We have allies and partners in the region. Some live there, some don't also uh, would, would likely get wrapped up into this and, and suffer casualties uh, and devastating results. And of course, the Iranian people will lose here because Iran will suffer as well. I don't think that a conventional military strike uh, is going to bring Iran to the table. There's only one solution in Iran, and that's a, a diplomatic solution that has to be internationalized. There are immense tensions inside Iran. And so when Pompeo and Bolton talk about regime change, I wonder what they're thinking about what's going to come after and what kind of influence the United States is going to have on fostering a more pro-West or more moderate regime in the place of the Rouhani administration. I do see a lot of similarities between the run-up to Iraq and what we're doing now, what we're seeing now. You've got the same kind of propaganda. You've got the same kind of politicization of intelligence. One of my great sorrows um, from working with Colin Powell, the some 12 to 14 years I did, was that he and I both agreed that the United States has absolutely zero capacity to learn from its mistakes in the past. We don't, we do not learn from the past. 